Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This name is Michael, and today I am uh, continuing my second video of making this e-commerce website in responsive mode. So in the last video, we are working on the subheader for make this responsive. So when I press the Control plus C plus M, uh, as you can see, here is our subheader, and it's looking so professional because it's not so close and it's choose a mobile responsive so our paragraph is high so if you don't know how how we can do it do it so you can uh, watch this my last video so okay yeah so in this video we are working on our main header and as you can see here are three component our logo search box search button and here is two user menu button has cart and login so coming up uh, well welcome back uh, control plus C, I'm pressing the control plus C plus M and go back to your 1280 okay uh, as you can see our, our user menu is hired so I choose the firewall so I press the F12 or you can use the right click and select the inspect element with firewall ok so and I select this our logo is looking good ok select the search box ok so here is search box and I am decrease the margin left so I'm using the 13 okay 12 uh, 20 okay so I think it's 12 uh, 20 is good so refresh again and go back mm, sorry what is that uh, ID search okay so here is our media, media CSS file and go to your 1218 pixel section so hash search and the margin left is near about 20 pixel ok press the control plus button check in the browser refresh ok and let's check in the 124 ok uh, again as you can see our user menu is hide in 124 pixels so again I choose open the firewall and select this search and I did decrease the width of that so 5 ok 500 pixels ok uh, and again I decrease the size of search button sorry that uh, search input type text okay input class search area and name text and type is text so I decrease the size of width so 500 okay so first of all you need to decrease the size of a search tab, search head search width and input type text okay so go back and here search and this width is near about 500 pixel and again hash search area because as you can see here is our search so it's, it's a class dot search area okay so class search area and the width is 500 pixels uh, well I'm not pressing the control plus s before I refresh that okay so again now and I press the control s button for save and change refresh okay and it's time to change the responsive mode for user buttons so again I have moved back and here is our user menu okay as you can see there you go okay so the, I decrease the size of 
वन और टू हंड्रेड ओके टू हंड्रेड पिक्सल एंड अगेन आई चूज जस्ट एल आई एंड एल आईज विद इज वन हंड्रेड पिक्सल ओके डिक्रीज द साइज आई चूज दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी ओके एंड व्हाट इज द मेन मैटर ओके आई डिक्रीज द साइज इज नाइंटी पिक्सल व्हाट हैपन ओके सो आई आई I think we want to decrease the width, uh, margin left, search area, yeah, search box, and margin left is ten. Okay, yeah, it's a ten. So I see the search. Go back and hit the search. Oops, sorry. Uh, margin left. In the 124 pixel, we need to change this into 10 pixel only. Uh, as you can see, here is margin left is 20, but in the 124 pixel media screen, we choose the margin left is 10 pixel. Okay, press the control button, check in the browser, refresh. Okay, it's looking good, and now it's ch change the user menu div. So what is that? Uh, it's the width is 200 pixel because you need it. So again, check 200 pixel. Okay, as you can see. So again, refresh and go back. In the hash user menu. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, I change this styling. Okay. I I have plugging the sub beautify by using a bracket. Okay. So. Okay, margin left. Where is that? Yeah, user menu, and the width is 200 pixel. Press the control S button and check in the browser. Refresh. Okay, and it's time to change user menu li tags. Yeah, li, and I I think we need to take this the size nine. Okay, so that width width is 90 pixels. So, hash user menu li. So, hash user menu and the li tag and dash width is 90 pixel. Okay, press the control S button and check in the browser. Refresh. Okay. Ah, uh, but as you can see, here is our logo, margin top, and dash. So change again. Select this. Search. Okay. The margin left and search. Float left. Okay. Choose the margin. Margin top is zero pixel. Okay. Nothing change. Uh, minus 10. Okay, so it's looking good. So what is that? Yeah, the search margin top is minus 10 pixel. Okay, press the control S button and check in the browser. Refresh, and it's uh, now it's time to change this margin top of the logo. So select that. Minus five. Okay, I think this margin top uh, with this and pixel is equal. So hash logo. This. Yeah. Yeah. After that, uh, I think we need to change. Yeah. Hash logo and the margin top. The margin top is minus five pixel. 
press the controller button and check in the browser again refresh okay i think and these components are equal by width and margins so now let's check in the 800 pixel okay uh 800 yeah it's a 768 so 768 so uh, i think in this in this way we work in the next video okay so bye bye take care and happy coding